hi you guys okay so i'm gonna be hand molding um I'm in bed today and i'm gonna put my gloves on to protect my hands and i think let me put you down where i think you can see stuff anyway move that up there and i'm gonna start with the watermelons because it has to have a process of mold it let it set not sit but set and then next step and then you have to let it set some more set some more before you can actually cut your watermelons into quarters. So, you know, that one takes more process. But I could do two parts to it. And I've got my little tool here. Um, I've got a I've got two little boxes to put stuff in. They're they're saying I'm recycling the um, chili jar box that I have gotten for my lotions and I've used them up. And I've got like a, this thing down here to because this is wet and this is a dry and I want to be able to wipe off my hands with it the wet and dry my hands with the dry and to keep the soap from being too sticky on my hands. I'm going to be doing the same division thing. I'm trying to blend some of the soap didn't get blended into the color so I'm trying to blend it a little bit better before I divide this into six almost as much possible equal parts so I will move this down here so because anyway now I have I use different reds for all of these now I'm rolling each of these half out so that I can eyeball it into thirds like so And then so and if one's a bit smaller then it will get this stuff here so let's take that back off of there see which one needs the extra because I'm going to roll this into a shape it into a round little watermelon size here is one tiny little watermelon and I figured tiny little watermelons will go good now this will make four it will look bigger by the time it's all done so I'm going to set this down in that thing I'm in one of these things I'm going to put this right here maybe I'll set it where you can see it aha there you can see it set those there I just realized this was the one that needed it huh Now some people do, most people think of watermelons as the big old huge round watermelon, so let's get this center good. And this part has to firm up before I can add the white, but I can, I can go ahead and mix the green and the yellow together. And then it can firm up before I divide it. I was just going to roughly mix it. These have to see it. I'm going to start on the strawberries next. I think the strawberries. I'm going to see if the strawberries is ready to be made. The strawberries is directly behind me. And then I will be dividing it into four, into sections of six and then or four and then six or yeah make 24 divide it and divide it and divide it that watermelon is a little too long in length watermelon this is the inside part of my watermelon now i'm going to wrap this with white after it firms up and then i'm going to wrap it with a green and a yellow after that firms up and then i'm going to slice it into four with my little um, cheese slicer that I have for the cold process soap of the coconut brand. Once it's set up. And then they will be finished. And they will be setting up some more in the room temperature. So, firming up. So they'll be firm enough to melt. They have to have a period of time where they are not too soft to melt. 
I don't want to mail them where they're like, mush, mush. I want the product to get to the, the customer in one good, in, in several, in the correct piece. Whole piece. I don't want the pieces to break up. I want to get to them in a whole piece. So, anyway. Now, there's my other watermelon. Roll him down. And set him in there. Now, I know you can't see that part, but I, that's okay because next comes the strawberries. Draw my hand off. Now, that was a red, so it wouldn't make much difference because my red is what I'm working on next. Whoops. I made a lot. Okay, I'm going to have to divide this up the same way. They're all going to be divided up into... That one's just divided into six parts because it gets cut into four after the whole. But these have to be divided into six and then four or four and then six. You need to get this blended better. So, did it the best way I could. Now, I guess I'll go in half. And divide this one in half. This one in half. Just eyeballing it. This has to be cut into six. And that one too. And now I need to cut these two in half. So I'm dividing the this in half and then into thirds. And that will be my strawberries. I'm making a little ball and setting them aside until I get 24 and then I'm going to start from there because it'll be easier once they've set for a little bit to get air. Which of these little ones needs some more soap on it? That one does. Six more to go. I'm going to try to see if any of these strawberries needs a little bit of boost in extra. I don't have any method here of which ones that look the smallest. Some, it's hard to tell. I am going to slowly put them into a strawberry shape. Once I get these made, I'm going to go back to the watermelon and then I'm going to work on the apples. I'm basically just kind of gently forming this into a strawberry-like shape. I'm rolling it in my hand first and then rolling it on one edge to get a point and then using my fingers to smooth out the point and make it a little bit more pointy without actually making it all the way pointy. I am almost ready to start poking holes into the strawberries. On the other hand, I think I need to just let it sit. green here and my yellow get the green there get the yellow here and the green roll it out twisty and just trying to make it striped like you see watermelons I'm going to put this back into the green. We're going to go in here. Go with the white. First, I'm going to divide this out before I roll it out. Let's start with this one.
I should have thought of this idea yesterday, but I don't know how it would work. I think I'm going to get one of the bigger ones. Yeah. Spread it thin enough that I would have enough with the whole thing. <laughs> it's not broken. got this from Dollar Tree. It comes apart on two ends. But I felt like it was a good spreader. Okay. There is the inside lining of the watermelon number one. Okay. Just kind of coating the inside of the watermelon with the first section of what you would normally see as the whole got that white area. One more. I got four more to go. I'm trying to get this started first. This really is working doing it this way. Much easier than the last year when I tried to roll it by hand in my palm and put it on. Three more to go. I got one more watermelon after this one to go. This watermelon. It will have green on top. Got red in the middle. Getting ready to almost be finished with this one. I have... <laughs> A lot to go yet. So I'm not going to do it in all one fell swoop. Okay. This one is ready. Get my. Green. For my strawberries. So. I got to divide this. In half. One more time. One more time. And then, once again, I got to get six of these for the six strawberries. This one is a little bit bigger than the others. It needs a pinch. Put these aside over here. So I'm going to come this way. I'm going to organize it. Then I'm going to cut off six of these. So I'm going to divide this six by six. I need tiny little leaves. They don't need to be too big. going to be poking the holes in those after I've got these all ready to lined up because this needs to dry a little bit before I can before I can really work with the leaves now I don't have any modeling soap I just use my regular soap recipe for cold process and I let it get to a certain thickness after it's set for a day for 24 hours. Um, sometimes I have to let it sit a little longer and let it air out so it's not sticky. Okay. Now what I do with this, now if you had a nail, a nail would work. So basically I just poke inside and I twist and I pull it out. Not all tools, this has a little, like a little dimple on the end. 
If you just have a flat nail, you can just poke it in and pull it back out. You don't have to twist it. For me, I can control the uh, amount of pullback splashing that comes out with it, you know, that I have to tap back down. And when I come down for a second layer, I come underneath between this other two at a diagonal. And I go all the way around like I did with those. And that's what's time consuming is it is time consuming for me to do these, but I enjoy doing it. I enjoy the specialty that it gets. Um, I enjoy the look of it. And uh, I like it, the uniqueness of it. So I keep going around and around. At one point in time, I turned the strawberry upside down so I can see it better. Okay, now this one here. I'm at the stage where I've poked all the holes into these six right here. This will be 18 by the time I get these. And I've divided out the green into four equal parts and then divided the six and divided it into six. Um, you'll see why. Now, I have, this is for my green apples. And it's also for the green on this. And I've got this separate for the red. Now, you could use a nail if you want. Um, to poke the holes in the strawberries, you can use a nail or anything with a point. I just happen to recycle uh, stuff. So this is just a plastic, you know, that I have. And so what I'm going to do next is I need to prep this for the leaves. I want to put a hole in the center because I'm going to put the stem down through there after I get the leaves on. Now I make tiny little, tiny, tiny little green dot things out of the, what I divided and this will be, and I'm going to gently put that on there, kind of rock it on there so that it sticks and it's not wanting to stick. It might have sat there a little longer than the others did. So I probably just need to roll it around a little bit. So, so I've got that one there. And I have five, I have six, but the six is for the stem. So I'm going to roll this in my gonna lay this one down so that I can get this non sticked. I'm making it into a teardrop drop shape and I'm flattening it. And then I'm sticking it onto the top of the strawberry and rolling my hand off. And pressing down and making a point just for the leaf. Now I did that so that I have five spaces on there. And so, I have, still have to do the apples. The apples are going to be easier than the strawberries. Not as tedious. Probably go a lot faster, although I do have 48 of them to make. So, I probably will go ahead and do the watermelons once I get this one strawberry made. Um, and, um... Well, I'll get the, these made and then do the watermelon. The watermelon needs to set up before I can cut it. The rind, the outside rind, it has to go on the outside, the green and yellow mixed together. And now I've got this one here. It's for the green. And I make that hole in it. And I get this to a point on this one. And I push this down into the point so that it sticks through to the others. And I just tap it into a little triangle. Now I come back, just in case I dislodged any of these little leaves when I made that hole, I press back down. And there you have a strawberry. Now, and these, the strawberries take the longest to make. And... For me, it's well worth the, well worth it. I don't mind taking more time to be a little bit creative. But, you know, some people just may want to have a strawberry mold with a, a good melt and pour in bed. 
but I like to make my own and each one is different. These are for orders. How I ended up selling cold process and bits online. Now they're cold processed and they come to you after they sat three or four days so that they're hard enough to survive the journey but they're not all the way cured yet so that they can cure along with any soap that they get put on top of. I probably finish the rest of the strawberries offline after I do some apples and the watermelon. So I'll do a few apples. And the apples really are the simplest. They're easy. But these I'm going to do, I'm going to add bottoms to these apples. I don't add bottoms to my apples because I know which direction I'm going to put them in. But somebody else might want to put them in a different direction. So just in case, they're going to get bottoms to them. So I'm going to treat the top and the bottom of the apple like an apple. There's that one. Okay. Now, you know what? I'm going to get more green from here, from where the watermelon one is, just to add it to it. got to divide this into six equal parts. So first I'm going to divide it in half. Okay, there we go. Now, I don't want to do the same thing I did with the white. I decided against that. going to have to play with it in my hand till it's big enough to wrap around my watermelon because I don't want to smush the yellow and green colors and smear them too badly. That's what made me decide not to do that. I'm trying to get it wide So that when I, interesting, okay, that's going in the scissors. I don't want that on there. Okay. This one here, I'm going to lay it right there in the center. I'm going to pull that up. I'm going to wrap this around and gently bring it into each other. Making sure I don't have any air pockets. I don't have enough white usually for it to do that because I don't make as much white. And since I make more green, a little bit of equal amounts of the yellow to the white, I can do that easier with the green yellow mixture. Now I'm trying to gently smooth this out now that I've wrapped it all around. hand like that. Okay. And there's one watermelon ready to cut when it has firmed up. There's that watermelon. Now they got to sit there and firm up before 24 apples. So I have to divide this into 24 bits. Cut it in half, then half, cut that one in half, 
And I'm going to set these aside and finish these later. And divide this one into six. So, dividing it into roughly close to equal parts. Some may be a little bit bigger or smaller than the others. That's okay. And I'm going to roll them into a ball. And I'm going to lightly shape them with my fingers. And I'm going to take a hole around it, around the top here. I'm going to come in with my finger to widen that a little bit. So it's aptly whole. And then this here I'm going to push in on the bottom and make an indentation like that. Kind of give it a little four little indentations. This, and I'm going to set this right there. This stem needs to come next. The stem has to go down like that, and I have to get 24 out of each of these. But that is no problem. I can get six off of this, I'm in good shape. I'll probably have leftover brown. My gloves are getting a little bit sticky. It's too big. And basically, I'm just going to be pinching off what I need for the apples from the brown. Okay, that's what one of the last apples will look like. Now I'm going to set this aside. And I'm going to cut a watermelon. And then I'm going to get off of here. And I need to rest before I finish up the rest of the apples and the rest of the strawberries. And I'm tired. Okay, so I'm going to put that right there, try to get it right on the middle. And I'm going to come down and go through there. Half, half a watermelon, but I'm getting four pieces out of this. So I put it back down. back through and there's my watermelon okay, I'm going to cut this other part to it and then I'm going to go ahead and get off of here and finish up offline so there's the other part to the watermelon and the other half here are the finished embeds that I made and I'm going to go ahead and say bye now. So, bye now.